care centers. Next on the Lawrence Welk Show. Choo choo track 29. Say, can you give me the time? I can afford to board the Chattanooga choo choo. Cause I got my fare and just a trifle to spare. You leave the Pennsylvania station about a quarter to four. Read a magazine and then you're in Baltimore. Dinner in the diner, nothing could be finer than to have your ham and eggs in Carolina. Listen to the whistle blowing, eight to the bar. Then you know that Tennessee is not very far. Shovel all the coal in, gotta keep a rolling. Woo woo, Chattanooga, there you are. You must have been a beautiful baby. You must have been a wonderful child. When you were only She drove the other kids wild And when it came to winning blue ribbons I bet you showed the other kids how Well, I can see the judge's eyes As he handed you the prize I bet you took the cutest gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 50 years on television. Now sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. Hello, everyone. I'm Mary Lou Metzger, your host for this week's Lawrence Welk Show. We're saluting one man on this show who wrote these songs, Lullaby of Broadway, You Must Have Been a Beautiful Baby, and Shuffle Off to Buffalo, just to name a few. Well, his name was Harry Warren, and he was one of America's greatest songwriters. Many of these songs came out of those Busby Berkeley Warner Brothers movies like 42nd Street. We recorded this show in 1972. I'd been on the show only three years, but I really enjoyed the production number with the boys. I got to sing Lulu's Back in Town. I remember 1972. The song of the year was You've Got a Friend, sung by Carol King. The big movie that year was The Godfather. Now on television, we were watching Flip Wilson, The Odd Couple, The Partridge Family, and The Mary Tyler Moore Show. So let's just sit back and relax and enjoy our salute to songwriter Harry Warren. 
From Hollywood, the Lawrence Welk Network presents The Lawrence Welk Show, saluting famous songwriter Harry Warren. You heard our announcer, Bob Warren, say we're saluting songwriter Harry Warren. And by the way, they're not related. If you don't know the name Harry Warren, I'm sure you know his songs. Here's one of Harry's songs from the musical Sweet and Low. And to sing it, we have our very popular husband and wife team, Guy and Rolna. Isn't that a great song? It sure is. I'm telling you, how would you like to have written enough tunes 
where somebody could do a whole TV show on the, on the songs you've written and not even come close to all the tunes that you've written. Fantastic. Mr. Warren has written, he's had 11 Academy Award nominations. Three of them have won the Academy Award. He's been writing hit songs for 50 years. I tell you, I'm going home and get out my guy, pencil and guy, I can't write some tunes. Uh, you remember that we were going to take a walk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, okay, well, while we're walking, why don't we get the band to play another Harry Warren tune called A Cheerful Little Earful. <laughs> The song may have been a cheerful little earful, but from our band, it's a cheerful big earful. To those of you old enough to remember the five and 10 cent store, back in those pre-inflation days when you could still buy something for five or 10 cents, we'd like to bring this memory back to you. Nowadays, it seems more like a five and $10 store. Anyway, Harry Warren wrote a song all about it, and it became a big hit way back in those years. We'd like to take you back now, so come on along with me, but just watch out for the rain. convenient door I found a million dollar baby in a five and ten cent store the rain continued for an hour I hung around for three or four around a million dollar baby in a five and ten cent store she was selling china and when she made eyes I kept buying China until the crowd got wise incidentally if you should run into a shower just step inside my cottage door and meet the million dollar baby from a five and ten cent store she was selling China and when she made those I kept buying China Until the crowd got wise Incidentally If you should run into a shower Just step inside my cottage door And meet the million dollar baby From the five and ten cent store another Harry Warren song, The Kiss Polka, featuring Myron Florn. For years, I've been dancing with the ladies in our studio audience, but I don't believe I've ever danced the polka with them. Let me go down and try a polka, and wouldn't it be something 
if they'd stepped on me. Mind? Let's hear it. Doesn't that look like a lot of fun, but I, I'm afraid that the ladies didn't get the hint in the title, the kiss polka. <laughs> you know, it's a wonderful feeling to have the respect, admiration, and love of others in your own profession. Both our featured composer and our next artist are in this enviable position. I'm speaking of our lovely champagne lady, Norma Zimmer. Listen to Norma and this pretty Harry Warren song. <laughs> A very fine performance by Norma. Bobby and Sissy recall the days of the big Hollywood musicals. And here they are dancing to another Harry Warren song, the title tune of the movie 42nd Street.
has a nice piano arrangement of a Harry Warren song. I'm sure all of you folks will enjoy it. Let's listen to Bob's version of September in the Rain. Pleasure to have this young man with our musical organization. Jimmy Roberts goes all the way back to 1925 for this Harry Warren song. Jimmy, swing it just a little. <laughs> Just having fun Sometimes we quarrel And maybe we fight But then we make up The following night When we're together We're great company I love my baby My baby loves me She bought a cookbook She's learning to bake I like her coffee, it keeps us awake. We wash the dishes from seven to three. I love my baby, my baby loves me. My baby loves me. Ah, oh, it was nice to hear that song again, Jimmy. Thank you. Uh, next, a song Harry Warren wrote for the Gold Diggers of 1933. Um, the band plays The Shadow Walls. Gentlemen. <laughs>
little dancer. By Thank golly, I like I like to adopt you. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Remember that handsome boy I met at the dime store? You know, the one that bought all the dishes. Well, boy, do I have a surprise for him. must have been a wonderful child when you were only starting to go to kindergarten i bet you drove the other kids wild and when it came to winning blue ribbons i bet you showed the other kids how well i can see the judge's eyes as he handed you the prize i bet you took the cutest A beautiful baby You must have been a wonderful child When you were only starting to go to kindergarten I bet you drove those other kids wild And when it comes to winning blue ribbons I bet you showed the other kids how Well, I could see the judge's eyes As he handed you the prize I bet you took the cutest you now <clears throat> now I suppose Ken will have to sweep up those dishes so. time for some dance music ladies and gentlemen and we have a Harry Warren tune that fills the bill very very nicely shuffle off to Buffalo Trains have always been closely associated with country music, and Mr. Harry Warren has written some great songs about trains. I'd like to do one of them for you now that uh, won an Academy Award nomination back in 1949. It's called The Chattanooga Choo Choo. Neil, take it away. Pardon me, boy. Is that the Chattanooga Choo Choo? Track 29. Say, can you give me the time? I can afford to board the Chattanooga Choo Choo Cause I got my fare And just a trifle to spare You leave the Pennsylvania station About a quarter to four 
Read a magazine and then you're in Baltimore. Dinner in the diner, nothing could be finer than to have your ham and eggs in Carolina. Listen to the whistle blowing, tape to the bar. Then you know that Tennessee is not very far. Shovel all the coal in, gotta keep a rolling. Woo woo, Chattanooga, there you are. Say, there's gonna be a certain party at the station. Satin and lace. I used to call funny face. She's gonna cry until I tell her that I'll never roll. So Chattanooga choo choo, I oh, won't you choo choo me home. Hey Chattanooga choo choo, I oh, won't you choo choo me home. Joaquin, you didn't have any trouble finding a Harry Warren song to his liking, and I'm sure you'll all enjoy the way Joe sings it. The more I see you, the more I want you. Somehow this feeling just grows and grows with it. without you and so it goes can you imagine how much I love you the more I see you as years go It's Arthur Duncan's turn to join in the salute to our featured composer. Arthur picked the song from the Gold Diggers of 1937 with plenty of money and you.
Well, isn't he wonderful? Arthur Duncan. Thank you. Uh, Rana has a special reason for being happy this evening. And Rana, you may tell the folks. I'd love to. I am very happy this evening. You know, a few months ago, you people got to meet uh, Guy's parents. They came down from Mississippi. And tonight, my parents came all the way from Halton City, Texas. And I'd like for you to meet my mother and father, Mr. and Mrs. R.D. English, sitting right over here. You know, I'm especially happy to be doing this particular Academy Award-winning song of Harry Warren's tonight because 15 years ago, my mother taught me this song. Didn't you, Mama? You'll never know just how much I miss you. You'll never know just how much I care. Just wonderful, wonderful. I am standing here, goose pimples all over me. Ron, I must say, your mother has excellent taste in her choice of songs and children. In 1938, Harry Warm teamed up with the great Larry writer Johnny Mercer for another song that was an Oscar nominee. We feature Bob Lido and Bob Smale. One, two, one, two, three. get those eyes. Gosh, y'all get up. How'd they get so little? Gosh, y'all get up. How'd they get that size? Oh, golly gee. When to turn those eaters on? Woe is me. Got to put my cheaters on. Oh, jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? Oh, those weepers. How they hypnotize. Where'd you get those Cheaters on, oh, jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Oh, those weepers, I'll hypnotize. 
to Harry Warren continues with all of our singers. First, let's join Gail and Dale down at the railroad station. Do you remember one September afternoon I stood with you and listened to a wedding tune And didn't I go with you on your honeymoon Do you recall a cottage small up on a hill? Where every day I had to pay another bill. And if I'm not mistaken, dear, you pay them still. Remember me. I can see that little angel on your knee. Can't you see? He kind of, sort of looks like me. I'm the boy whose only joy is loving you Who worries till he hurries home when day is through And, and I'm the one, one you give your goodnight kisses to Remember me I can see that little angel on your knee Can't you? I'm the boy whose only joy is loving you Who worries till he hurries home when day is through And, and I'm, I'm the one, one you give your goodnight kisses to Gotta get a half a buck somewhere Gotta shine my shoes 
shoes and slick my hair. Gotta get myself a boot and net. Lulu's back in town. You can tell all my pets, all my blondes and brunettes. Mr. Otis regrets that he won't be around. You can tell the mailman not to call. I ain't coming home until the fall, and I might not get back home at all. Lulu's back in town. the great composer Harry Warren. And of course, he wrote many of his songs with Al Dubin, Mac Gordon, and others. Well, Harry's in our studio audience this evening, and we'd like to ask Harry to make a bow. Let's have a nice hand for this wonderful man.
to chat with you a little bit about the songs and so on, but we don't have very much time. I, we're coming close to the end of our show. And you see those pretty little girls that's standing around yeah, here? Yeah. Well, I've been dancing with them on the end of the show, but tonight they would like to dance with you. They've asked me, Mr. Wall, could we dance with Harry this evening? Okay. And, okay, okay. Which one is gonna be the first one? Me. Little bubbles. <laughs> okay, little bubbles in the wine, okay. Music, please. What kind of music is I really enjoyed the spotlight on Lulu's back in town, surrounded by all those good-looking guys. I still marvel at how I came to be on the Lawrence Welk show in the first place. I just happened to be in Hollywood to tape the All-American College show at the same time Norma Zimmer happened to stop traveling with the band, leaving an opening for a new girl on the road. And our local assemblyman in Philadelphia just happened to go to college with Myron Florin and was able to arrange for me to see the taping of the Easter show while I was in town. Lawrence had me sing during the warm-up of the show. He invited me to the Palladium that Saturday night, and a month later, I was on the Lawrence Welk show. I was the luckiest girl in the world. Now let's take a look at some previews of coming attractions, as they used to say at the movies. Here are some highlights of future Lawrence Welk programs. the highlights coming your way on this public television station. Please join us next week at this time for another show just for you. As Mr. Welk always said, keep a song in your heart. Here's a wish.